Good morning, guys. It's a very special day for me. It's a, the official kickoff of season two of Flying and Dine. This season, we're hitting Mexico, Madrid, and Istanbul 100%. They're already booked. I'm gonna try to squeeze in New York or Mexico one more time. Um, but anyways, let's get this started today. I'm reviewing the American Airlines 737-800 Max in their business class product. Um, I've never flown a 737 Max, so let's see how that goes. Um, so yeah, that's how this trip's gonna go. 737, I'm literally going for six hours. My flight leaves at uh, 7.20 this morning, so in about three hours. Um, I'm gonna be in Mexico five to six hours. We're gonna go see the sanctuary of the Virgin Mary. Uh, we're gonna go eat at Cipriani, but at the end of that video, I'm gonna show you some uh, restaurants, hotels that you guys can stay at out of my previous experiences. I've lived in Mexico before. So I'm gonna stop talking so I can get to the airport and get some coffee because I'm about to fall asleep and nothing. Welcome to Flying and Dine. Hit the, uh, I can't even talk of how tired I am. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications so you can stay up to date with everything I'm doing and let's get the show on the road. So American does have a designated priority section for first class passengers and elite status. Um, it's great. It finally feels like the holidays at the airport. Um, Check-in was a breeze. They had a specific priority line for American Airlines passengers. There was no wait whatsoever, but it was five in the morning. Um, as you can see, the airport is kind of a ghost town at this time. Most shops are closed. So if you are looking to buy something, a charger, a pillow, magazines, most stores open at 6.30 a.m. There is a store that opens at 5 a.m. near the Admirals Club next to D30. I'm walking towards the lounge now. This is the lounge at D30. There's another Admirals Club at D15, but this one's a lot bigger and nicer. Um, unfortunately, when flying to Mexico, even if you're going in business class, you don't have access to the flagship lounge, which is a lot better. The food options are better. But this lounge in particular is very spacious. They had some breakfast options, um, you'll see now. They have a full bar, which fully open bar, Wi-Fi, and a lot of space to work. This time in particular is very great to come because there's no one. But at 5 p.m., it's definitely a much more different experience. But if you are traveling to Europe from Miami or South America, you do have access to the flagship lounge as long as you're traveling in first or business class. Now, as you see here, the options they offered were very basic yogurts, fruits, um, pre-made juices, cereals. Um, but we ended up walking downstairs to a cafeteria you'll see now, La Carreta. If you're not from Miami and you've never eaten there, I definitely recommend it. They also remodeled this lounge about a year or two ago, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the new kids club or kids room, however you want to call it. It's very nice. It has different TVs, uh, different games for them to play. Um, let me rephrase that. They only have one television. I'll show it better now. Um, but it's, it's good. It's a quiet space. You can go with your kids. That way you don't bother other passengers and your kids can scream and go crazy. Um, while you wait for your flight. This here is La Carreta. It's a very Cuban restaurant, so you're gonna find your typical, well, this here are like pre-made sandwiches, wraps, salads, but typical Cuban food tends to be like toast, eggs, and all that good stuff. As you can see here, more festive decorations. I'm very excited. We're about to board. Okay guys, so the airport process was pretty chilling. It was very empty. Uh, most of the shops, as you saw, were closed. Um, we're boarding the airplane now. The lounge was pretty weak. The food options were not the most appetizing, but there was a lot of space. It was very clean. And now let's check out the airplane. Good morning. The business class on the 737-800 MAX is a 2-2 configuration. This is the typical premium economy seat you'll find on international flights on the 777. Um, it's very spacious. It's very wide. There's plenty of leg room. Um, I'll show you the IFE system they develop now. You kind of have to use your own device and they include uh, free Wi-Fi that you can use all the entertainment on board. Um, and I'll show you another cool feature 
where you can kind of hang your phone or iPad or whatever device it is you have. So this is what I was talking about. It took me a while to kind of figure out how it worked, but you pull this up and by accident I was I'm dumb and I put my phone against it, but here you'll see it better. So you lift this up and you can fit your phone or your iPad or whatever device it is you have. That way you don't have to hold your phone while you're watching your entertainment. And once again, it's all included in the Wi-Fi. And the mood lighting was also great. It was very um, peaceful, I guess. And then as you can see there, there is a USB port for you to connect your cable to charge your device while you watch your entertainment. And under the seat, there's also a socket where you can plug in um, any American adapter. I think it's 110 volts. And here's the safety card. That is the only downside to this flight, um, well, aside of the food, which you'll see now. I personally like watching the flight safety videos on a screen and it's just a different experience, but that's just me. I'm, I'm picky with that, but it was no, no big deal. The service was great. So here comes our favorite part, I think, for all of us, the takeoff. So I'll stop talking a little bit so you guys can enjoy the sound of the engines and the views um, upon takeoff. This is the premium economy seat on international flights by pressing that button it reclines it reclines a nice amount you can't really see it here but the seat's very very wide i'm 5'10 i know i'm not the tallest but for me it's perfect i think i'm average height and then the tray table comes out here it also has another cool feature before they installed the in-seat device holder this is where you would put your device so that you wouldn't have to hold it to watch your entertainment and then the tray table is very standard if it's a computer, your full meal tray, um, nothing special. And here the meal, I'm happy American Airlines is finally taking out trays with uh, silverware with manteles. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. There was a turkey and Swiss croissant or an egg croissant. Now the croissant was a little 
bland and dry. There was no jam. I honestly didn't ask for it because I just wanted to film this for the video, but it was decent. So throughout this season, you might see a woman. She's my mother. Today, we're coming to Mexico to celebrate her birthday. Uh, that's what she wanted to do for her birthday, and you have to spoil your mother. And about two hours and a half into the flight, we started making our descent into Mexico City's airspace, into Benito Juarez International Airport. And the view of the engine is just absolutely stunning. It was a gorgeous day, clear skies. You can see the mountain tops. The flight was just very, very enjoyable. Um, I actually got a full hour of sleep. Um, I slept very comfortable and I couldn't wait to get to Mexico because I was very, very excited. Now I'll let you guys enjoy the view of the descent into Ciudad de Mexico or Mexico City. If you're new to my channel, the way I work, I usually play the sound of the engines or don't put music over the takeoff and the landing, so you'll hear some more music for a bit, but don't worry, you'll be able to hear the engines roaring and the spoilers um, as soon as we get a lot closer to the runway. So enjoy, thank you for tuning in. If you like what you saw so far, please subscribe. There's a lot of exciting content coming up. Airbus A330s, A350s, Boeing seven, uh, set, sorry, Boeing 777s on American Airlines, Iberia, Turkish Airways, so once again, thank you so much for tuning in.